Happy Thursday, RC World. It's your boy Lefty coming to you live from the 2022 IFMAR IC Buggy World Championships. Today is the second day of qualifying. We have three rounds to go. It's been an exciting first round. We saw Davide Angaro set a fast time in Heat 14, only to have Juan Carlos Canas come up and pip him for the TQ. So Davide could have kind of wrapped up TQ. He would have had three TQs for the for the session. But now we have Davide with two TQs, Fend with one, and Juan Carlos Canas with one. So we have a battle on our hands. It's going to be interesting to see. So in that last round, it was Juan Carlos Canas, Davide Angaro, and I can't remember who else. Maybe I should have, I did look at it, but I forgot. Also, notables in that last round were Backhand Killick, Borak Killick. They done really well, the Dyad. I'm going to go talk to them. So enough of me jibber-jabbering. I'm going to take a little walk about so you guys, we can talk to some of these drivers who had a, a good qualifying run. So let's go find them. All right, we're here with the, the Dyad, the, the dynamic brothers of the Killicks. What's up? We got Barkan, the younger brother, Borak. Hello. If you guys have seen them on the podcast, they just went five and six. And four and six. Four, four and six and round through. Three, Barkan, you beat your brother this round. <laughs> what do you got to say about that? Nothing much. It was just a good run for me. He also had just a super good run. So four and six is all, all is good. I mean, Warrock? Yeah, next, next round I'm going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warrock, how are you guys liking the track? What are you finding uh, easy? What parts of it are you finding hard? Changes you made to your car, anything like that? I mean, the track is uh, quite difficult. Like, in every round the track is changing a lot, but layout and the Baldur brothers and the family did an awesome job on the track and the facility here is super good and yeah. How about you? I like the track. It's uh, a little bit hard to drive, super consistent, but yeah, it's all good. I like it. All right, so you guys are driving the Mugen buggies. The Mugen buggies seem to be going pretty good out there. Uh, anything you guys done different from your warm? You came to the warm up. Anything you've changed from the warm up? Uh, so the track to the warm up actually is super different right now, mm -hmm. and uh, we just changed completely all the car before the warm up. Before we came here, is really different. So we changed the car a lot, and now it worked really good. Mm -hmm. and we hope for good results and yeah. I mean, it would be great to see you guys in the final. I don't think we've had brothers in the final ever, maybe? I'll have to go look that up. So you guys excited for that? We hope so. So tomorrow, Saturday is the main day and we're looking forward for this and uh, we hope we're going to do some good results. All right, well, I wish you guys all the luck. Barkan, it's good to meet you guys and I'll go, I'm going to see you guys around. Good luck in the next round. Thank you. So we're here in the... In the x-ray pits, we got Nico Bragante from Argentina. Bra Saludo de Argentina. Chicos, ¿cómo andan? ¿Todo bien? Bueno, acá estamos en el Mundial. Les mando un abrazo grande. Espero que estén siguiéndolo. Y gracias a el online podcast, a Liste. Y bueno, sigan viendo el espectáculo. Esto está genial. Gracias. Y buena suerte. Gracias. Eh. And you guys, are you, are you, oh, you are HK. Everybody's been asking about you on the chat. Uh, so this is your son? Yeah, I'm fine. What's your name? What's his name? Okay, so did they call him HK? Yeah, HK. Okay, how old are you? Because everybody wants to know. How old? He's a big 11. Yeah. And where are you guys from? Yeah, like, hero is a... Yeah. He's very big for 11. And little bumps so small. Yeah, uh, From Korea, right? Yeah, from Korea. How are you guys like in your first worlds? Okay. All right. Yeah. It's good to see the young young drivers out here and good luck to you today. You everybody's been asking for him in the yeah. chat. Korea, go for it. Yes, yes. I met the, the Astorinos in Italy. How are you? Uh, Como ta? Como va? Yeah, good, good. Let's go over here. We got some more young Morning Walanka. How are you? If you guys you've heard you've heard us talk about Martin Walanka on the podcast, this is the legend right here. Good to see you back racing. Thank you. Alright. Have a good one. Skid Moors, don't go nowhere. When you you did, you had a good run. You guys had a good run yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It was a, looking it was a solid. Day. Yeah, yeah. How very was good. your run today? Um, it wasn't too bad. I was somewhere in the top 16, but I mean, our track was under the shade. Mm -hmm. um, it was like 10 degrees hotter when the, the last few heats went on, so the track was a little bit slower. Um, it was probably my best run. I felt like I've drove the best that I've driven the whole time, but the, you know, I was I was seven seconds off my fastest time and it was clean, so I think the track was just a little bit slower. Sweet, awesome. Well, good luck to you. Yeah. You're looking good. Let's go Thank talk you. to Cheers. the senior Skidmore. Yo. Now I got to talk right, to you because you're the mechanic. I am. What type of stuff are you changing on these cars? Um, 
since, since, since quality started, we've not changed a massive amount because the, car, the car's working pretty well. Okay. Um, the Amazonia tyre worked okay. Then we've gone to the, the Sahara um, medium, okay. which for us is working better still. Apart from that, I've not changed a lot on the car. We're happy with it, with how it's going. Yeah, it's just got to get them clean runs. We, we, we had a couple of runs with two crash, well, a crash in each run. Without those, it'd have been, it'd have been, it'd have been in the top 10, so... Yeah, but gotta, you just got to be in that top crash. 16. The top You've 16. got to be in the top 16, but with top 10 runs, that's going to that's make, you, make you in the top 16 easily. Well, good luck to you guys. Yeah, cheers, mate. Nice to see you. Nice to finally meet you as yeah, well. We got Mama Skidmore here. Hello, how are you? Hi. I don't know who you are. This is Zach. Zach, what's up, Zach? How you doing? We got William Skidmore over here. What's up, Will? Hi. How's it going for you? I mean, he's gone all right first round, top 20, but all, all the rest of yesterday I've had uh, a servo problem and a, a cutting pit lane, which wasn't ideal, but this morning we're a steady run, probably a bit too steady with a mistake, so, you know, I've got two runs. I kind of need two good runs to probably make the quarters, so, you know, it's, it's on, but gonna have to be a fast one so yeah well, you can do it good luck we'll to you. see Cheers. good luck to you guys good luck team skidmore Cheers. let's go over and talk to board and tie what's up you know i'm gonna sit down with you for a second hopefully i don't break your mother's shirt uh what's up ty what's up board a little bit of a little bit of drama for you guys yesterday got dq'd in the first run unfortunately uh how are you guys making out coming back from that uh, I was doing okay. Struggled a little bit for speed, but mm -hmm. now at least I have three runs that I could possibly count if I had to. But we'll try to go faster in the second two and see if we can better my points. Uh, anything specific, specific that you guys are changing in your car? Uh, compared, also, you guys are one of the guys that came to the warm-up. Anything yeah. that you've changed from the warm-up coming into this race? We've changed quite a bit of things. The track surface is different and the layout's different. So we're trying to get the car to be a little quicker coming around the corners and, and more like point-and-shoot style than the warm-up was more rounding and flowing. So, just trying to adjust the car and get a little bit more speed, but not make it too hard to drive to go for 10 minutes. A little mm -hmm. more speed coming in and exiting the corner. Okay. Seems to be where we're losing the ground. Okay. What tire you got? What tires you guys? What are you? Because you're hot race guys. Uh, I see you guys are going to some different bar tires and stuff like that. Hot race tires have been working really good. We just it's in our, some, something in our setup that we need to get right. Well, you guys have podiumed every world since. 2012, right? You was telling me the other day. You guys seem to be able to step up to this this high level of competition. This is, like you said, yes, this isn't your first rodeo. Uh, what is it that brings you guys to that next level when you come to an event like this? Um, I think just a lot of testing beforehand, knowing what the car needs, or knowing what the car, knowing what we need to do with the car before the race, not testing at the race. Just kind of. It's taking us a little longer this time, but usually we know what to change when we go on the track and need something. We know what to change, we're not guessing. So being able to do that, I think, is really beneficial, especially with these, how the track's always changing from run to run. Mm -hmm. Just kind of see what it's doing and then make the right decision before the race. Let's talk a little bit about the disqualification, because I talked to you yesterday, Gord. It was kind of, everybody seems to be a little bit sketchy on this. Um, it, it wasn't just you, it was a bunch of guys that failed for the same thing yesterday. Give us your, your thoughts on that, please. Well, I don't really understand how they're doing it or why some cars are getting stuck, but when we pre-test, we had a ton of room, they're easy. When, they, when I went in, they called me in to say you got disqualified, so I said, show me. <coughs> Carlos ran the car through four times and it went through. Mm. And then the tech guy grabbed it, kind of wiggled it, and they got stuck. And they said, that's a disqualification. So, we made the car narrow to give us, now we literally have a millimeter and a half. There should be absolutely no way we're going to get stuck. Yeah, that, I, I, I talked to Cole, he said the same thing happened to him, Cavallari. I haven't talked to Jared, but it seems weird that a lot of people are getting caught out on the same, the same way. It's kind of odd. I think there's something to do with this. the oil in the track gets on the tires, they kind of get sticky, and every car sweeping through there, the sides are getting, it's, it's, it's like a pasty, kind of greasy, mm -hmm. sticky that's on there and I think they're literally just getting stuck like on the sides of the on box the side, and yeah. all that stuff it doesn't yeah. roll down perfectly it just gets stuck I mean they got to clean it or something, something I think so yeah clean it or put some dust on it so it's not so sticky something cool. well good luck to you guys I have no doubt that you guys will do well I mean your, your track record speaks for itself and uh yeah maybe we'll come back around and see what happens after qualifying I'm gonna go talk to your teammate I think he's Ricardo 
Pablo, you speak English? Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about Ricardo as well. He's uh, I know everybody when they think of fast Portuguese drivers, they think of obviously Bruno Coelho, Figueiredo, Matias, but this guy is another legend making. How long have you been racing for? Uh, like 16, 17 years. Okay. You uh, were very You think he was in his semis for the Euros? Or my? Uh, the last one I attended was Vegas. Okay. It wasn't that great. No, I mean the Euros. That oh, the Euros, yeah, it was in semis. All right. So I know a lot of people may not know who you are, but I know you're pretty fast. And you're Sometimes. pretty good. <laughs> you showed some speed early on. How you made, how's your race going? I mean, it started out pretty well. And then, I don't know, I think the driver is just. The head's not in it yet, so I'm going to be making. I think I'm just making way too many mistakes. Yeah. Just got not used to being on the top heat every single time. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding it hard to like pace myself instead of just looking out and thinking about if I have to open up for someone. What happened to Matthias? Well, he was supposed to come to this race. Why didn't he attend? I thought he was here, but then someone yeah. told me he was not. Because he normally he's not racing that much anymore. Mm -hmm. I think. I mean, practices and stuff. But then I thought this year he would come back. Year was was in Portugal, and then uh, World was here. So for us, it's not that big of a trip. But yeah, I don't know yeah I was, it was a shame. I wanted to meet him. He done. He was fast at the Euros too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a legend. He started out slow, and then he, he went his, back up. But that's what he does. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, previously he was always fast. I know. But uh, and now since he doesn't run that much, I think he just needs to pick up the pace, and then he's right there. Because he can drive. Oh yeah, he can definitely drive. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, man. It was nice meeting you finally. You. And uh, I wish you all the best in, your, in the rest of your worlds. Thanks, man. All right, well, let's go talk to Coelho. El Principe. Hello, hello. hello, Martin. How are you? Yeah, I'm good in here. How are you adjusting to you not racing, just being a mechanic? Yeah, I'm just helping the team. Uh, you are a very accomplished racer as well. Do you miss racing at big events like this? Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm a racer, so I miss the racing. but. Uh, I also enjoy to help my guys and to achieve the best for them. Uh, what I see you, you're thrashing away here. What changes are you looking for? What are you trying to get? I'm going to come talk to you, Principe. I want to talk to you in the, in the mechanic first. I mean, um, we are very close. We are um, setting, setting up the car for the final for one hour. Mm -hmm. So maybe we are not so fast in the qualifying, but we are working for the final one hour. So. That's, that's where you win it. You don't win it in qualifying. Yeah, so, uh -huh. yeah. uh, I call you the El Principe de Portugal. That's your nickname. Well, let's go talk to Kuwait. Thank you, Martin. I appreciate yeah. it. What's up, Bruno? How are you? All good. You are going to be racing two world events here. You have mm -hmm. the 1-8 scale, which, you believe it or not, you are favorite here. You are favorite in our, in our, in our polls. So it's going to be interesting to see. And then you go to your class that you, mm -hmm. you are a world champion in and you are good at in Gubbio next week. Yeah. How are you enjoying uh, the 8 scale worlds? Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, the track is uh, is really good. It's it's big. It's difficult. Uh, the traction is changing a lot during the day. Um, we still under trying to understand how we change. You know, when we have high traction, when we have low traction, which tires to take um, for the final. You know, as we are working for the final, uh, we're still trying to decide it, uh, trying to tr find out what's the what's the tire. But I think everything is good. I mean, we are on the, on the top five at the moment, uh, so which is very nice for sure so this is it your main class you kind of I would say you I, I know I'm not saying you, see, you do it as a hobby but you know your main class is touring car on road how do you, you and honestly you're considered one of the best all-round drivers in the world at this moment probably will go on in, in history as one of the best or not the best how do you adjust from dif different disciplines do other disciplines help you with this or how do you do it yeah it's um it's difficult to explain uh, because it's, it's kind of natural for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just try to practice a little bit before the races to get used to the car. Like now I'm, I'm moving after this race on Sunday, I go immediately to Italy to make some laps on touring just to get used to the car to not show up on the worlds uh, immediately after this one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, for me it's, it's a kind of nat it's natural. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing of this was possible if I didn't have the, the great team behind me that is working on the cars all the time. Uh, working on you know improving and the knowing all knowledge about the car and when I come here I just you know kind of say what I need and they know exactly what to do so it kind of saved me a lot of time on the on the practice uh, trying to learn the car and everything you know so when I arrive on the races I just have all support from the team from Martin from Tesco from Max from you know everyone else here uh, it's thanks to them all right well 
Good luck to you. E abrigado. Yeah. And I will <laughs> talk to you later. Thank you very much. I can't go. If I didn't come over and talk to the Carter brothers, I think all of Northeast would be upset with me. We got Brian Carter. What's up, dude? What's up, man? You changed your paint scheme on me. Yeah. I was looking. Yeah, it was all black and that's pretty. That's that's pretty badass. Yeah. It was all black and yellow, and then you switched it up. It, it confused me yesterday. Had to represent. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Got the American flag on the front. Looks yeah. looks badass. Dylan Caldwell did an amazing job on it. Uh, Dylan did that. All yeah. right. Shout out to Dylan. Oh yeah. How are you guys? Yeah, there we go. Have a look at that. Ryan, how are you enjoying your first worlds? It's absolutely incredible. There's really nothing like this. This is um, your first worlds, right? First okay. worlds, yep. Alright. Well, I'm glad you guys made it. It's always good to have representatives. Shout out to the, to the Northeast crew up there. I know they want to say. Barstormers, everybody back at home, baby. Oh man, you guys have a fan club in the chat. Like yesterday <laughs> yeah. when you guys won, everybody was in there to be. All the yeah. Northeast guys are up there. So, good stuff and good yeah. luck to you guys. And I'll enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, it's good to see you. If you don't know this guy, then you ain't following RC. Davide, como está? Very cool. Everything is okay. Yes. So, uh, very fast. Two qualifiers yesterday. Yeah. Almost win this week. Today? Yeah. I mean, I think we never drove uh, like the uh, same hour of, of this morning. Mm -hmm. We drive at uh, 10.30. And I think the truck was a bit uh, cold. So, we had no traction like yesterday, but I think the next one will be the same as yesterday, so we'll see in the next one. Yeah, Nemesis, Juan Carlos Canas, he takes the TQ yep. for a round, so now we have a fight. Yes. Any pl What's your plans going into the next round? Uh, I mean, just drive safe like I did the, yesterday and this morning. I mean, I had two small bubbles this morning and I lost like three seconds. And I was, uh, I was like two seconds behind him, so we were pretty, pretty close. So we see in the, in the four, uh, fifth round. Okay. What changes have you made to your car? Uh, from the from this morning, yes, nothing. Okay. I mean, from yesterday, we changed just some things, uh, small things to have the car like more edgy on the on the small corners. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, from this morning, nothing. How about tires, aka? I yeah. think you went out on borrow tire chain links yesterday or something. Uh, yeah, I tried in the first one and was uh, were okay. Then I go, I went to double down and were uh, I mean I think pretty safe to drive maybe for the long run. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, today I try, I try again double down and we, we are trying to find the car for the long run, so we'll see. Well, you're looking very fast. I mean, I think I'm glad that we have a battle for TQ. I know you want to you wanna wrap it up. But, uh, I, mean, I think after the bad luck at the Euro, we are more motivated for sure mm -hmm. uh, at, at this race. At this race. Uh, tires finally are working super good. We struggle a bit at, at the Euro with the, like all some oil on the truck and glue and mm -hmm. was a bit strange for us. But yeah, here uh, everything is working great at the moment. I'm driving good, uh, so yes, really, really happy. You feel any pressure to be too tired? No, no, no. No, no pressure? No, 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 at the moment no. Uh, I mean, I'm just uh, be f I'm focused on what I'm doing and trying to, like I say, to not press on track. Uh, but yeah, of course, small pressure is on me, but not, not a lot. Not a lot. I think you handled it pretty good. Good luck. I look forward to the rest of the qualifying today. Thank you. I think you guys are going to put on a show, and um, I wish you all the luck. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. You got Tim Lai, S-Works USA manager. Good to see you not in America. I always see you in America, so it's good to see you over here in Spain. You made the trip. Enjoying your worlds? Yeah, it's been fun for sure. Um, Ritavon is uh, an interesting place. Happy belated birthday to you. Oh, thank you. But uh, how's the effort? I mean, you guys just, JCC just went out there and made it a race, made it a battle. I was happy to see that. He, he was flying. He was flying. <laughs> and uh, what's the SRX team going? What are you guys doing? Any changes making? I know you guys have a slightly different car from the USA over here. Has the, the presence of such a big European team helped you guys get up to pace? Yes, for sure. Um, you know, but a lot of the stuff that we helped develop is actually on the car now. Right. So, you know. There you go. It was, uh, but. It's definitely different. Uh, a lot of different tow, for mm -hmm. sure. They run no tow pretty much <laughs> here because they have grip. Right. <laughs> um, that is a, that is a fact. It is definitely a fact, and uh, just understanding how to drive at that speed mm -hmm. for so long has uh, been uh, challenging. But um, we were three seconds a lap slower when we showed up, and yeah. uh, we're getting there. So. Good. Good. Well, it's good to see you. Let me talk to uh, Camden. What's up, Camden? What's up, guys? This is like your third world. Yeah, third world. You're like uh, a veteran now. Yeah, I'm coming one. There you go. How are you liking it? 
it's awesome, man. This place is like, it's it's awesome. It's it's a place to remember for sure. Um, yeah. Well, many things. Yeah. Spain is awesome. Everything about it's really cool. Just a lot different from the USA. So we're really just working hard here, trying to get more and more dialed in, and our team is definitely looking up on the on the upside right now. Well, good luck to you, man. Thank you. Come up and visit us in the commentary booth. All right, and, and, re relive your, your youthful days. Yeah, let me know. I'll be there. I got, I got. have four hours. I have four hours until I run my next run. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, come up and yeah. chill out with us. Brentus. Oh man, really? I got, I got you. Yeah. Right in the sun. I'm, come over here I'm so here. I can get you the sun. In the sun. You want to see this face? Yeah. Well, you've been enjoying your trip here to yeah. Spain. You and the wife. Good to see. You've been having fun. How are you liking your trip here in Spain? Well, I mean. What can I say? This facility is amazing. Uh, we got to see a lot of the country. Europe's awesome. Um, so it's nice to be able to bring my wife along, spend some time with her, and then also, you know, come to come to this amazing facility. Uh, the Baldos did such an amazing job, and uh, enjoy a World Championship event, which is stacking up to be one amazing event. So it is. I'm excited right now. Yep, Ben Ultimate Engines got a TQ yesterday. Congratulations on that. I know he's looking very fast. I, I did say this on the podcast, everybody. I did say Fen would be fast. Just know your net. Uh, super impressed with him. Super impressed with him. Super impressed with Juan Carlos Canasta as well. Oh yeah, looking really fast. Out of the SRX team is humongous. Yes, they as are. well. So that's good to see. And uh, yeah, man. Hey, and we're going to Myrtle Beach in a month's time. That's gonna be nice. And you're gonna be busy because you got three big events in a row. Yeah. Let's talk about that. You got Dixie Nationals. RCGP and then uh, Masters of Dirt. Yeah, so uh, Dixie Nationals is shaping up to be our biggest one yet. Uh, that's our uh, high bike dirt oval race we put on every year. Um, it's been one of the premier uh, high bike dirt oval races. And then um, we did land the uh, final rounds of the RCGP at the Badlands. Um, so new track build going on uh, beginning of October for that. And uh, lots of work to get ready to make sure that that event goes well and that uh, you know we, we we want to look good. We want to we want the event to go well. We want people to enjoy themselves. And then uh, the biggest dirt off road race in the country is, there the, we go. is the next week, the Masters of Dirt. Uh, we're excited to have you, Lefty, and uh, excited to have uh, you know. We, it's going to be the best one yet. I don't know how yet. We we every year we try to do something new. Try to try to grow it. Um, but uh, the presence is going to be real big. I, I feel like it's it's going to be a uh, hit out of the park. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do. Um, this is kind of my vacation, but work uh, time before I get back, and you know I'm, I'm trying to trying to document all this, vlog it, you know, send everything back to Lucas so he can mess with it and and uh, spin it and make me look kind of like a dork. Uh, <laughs> but um, you know we're. We're having a good time, and uh, we got a lot more racing to do, a lot more stuff going on. Obviously, we got Cole, we got Dakota, uh, we got Brian Cotta, Jared Tebow, all four uh, Beach RC team teammates, or Ultimate, or running Nitro Lux. We got a lot going on here. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super excited about where everybody's at and, and how well it's going at this moment. So, see, I just wanted to take some time to say shout out to Lucas. And uh, any Beach RC crew, because Lucas is doing really good with his unboxings, they're funny, they're humorous, his editing's getting good. Yep. So shout out to Lucas. Love you like, like, Lucas. See you in a uh, month's time. Hey, but the one thing everybody needs to know and is Lucas doesn't know how to party. So don't think for one <laughs> second because he's not here. I didn't bring him because he doesn't know how to party. I had to have somebody back the, back there doing what needs to be done and right. keeping things straight. But if he was here, he'd just be moping around. Doesn't know how to party. He probably wouldn't even like the beer that they sell here. If, if it's not Bush Ice, he doesn't drink it. Uh, so yeah, I, let me tell you, Lucas doing a fantastic job back at home, not partying, while we take care of that for you over here overseas. I have a feeling that he's going to show us all how to party at Mod. Um, yeah. I mean, no. Right. <laughs> Dude, I'll show you how to party. <laughs> All right, Brent. Well, thank you, too, for your help, Beach RC, helping me get her. I greatly appreciate it. And all the support that you give me. Absolutely. Um, and it's good to see you over here, and I look forward to seeing you in a month's time. Good to see you. Don't be such a stranger. Come I know I'm a bear when you don't have to work. I will. I'm, I'm going back up to commentate in a minute. All right, so we have the Thunder from Down Under, Kyle McBride, who seems to be able to come to these events without going to any international races for a number of years and still be competitive. First off, I want to know how you do that. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I mean, I've been doing RC for a long time, so uh, I, I work hard as possible back home. But um, yeah, I mean, it's tough living where I live and having to come over here, you know, only get to race these guys 
every now and then. So it's difficult, but yeah, I do everything I can. Yeah, you had some good runs. I don't know where you're sitting right now overall. Yeah, I need to have a look. I, I haven't really had the best time. Hey, but, yeah, it's been a bit rough, honestly, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to dig deep and uh, try to put myself in the semi. Oh, you got two more. That's where you need to get in the semi, and you're already in the fight. But uh, you came to the warm up, you've been here. What has been the favorite part about this track, and what have you guys been uh, struggling with or trying to fix with the cars and get right? Yeah, it's just, it's, uh, I mean, the track and everything is amazing. You know, they put on a great show here. Um, it's one of those tracks that you're probably only going to get to race on, you know, once every, I don't know how many years. So, awesome layout and everything. It's, it's a difficult type of surface. Um, trying to be consistent as well as be fast is the tough thing. So, um, yeah, I think we'll get there in the end, but um, just got to keep working. Sweet. Well, shout out to all the Australian guys. They're, like, as soon as you come on, everybody in Australia is up asking to watch you. So, uh, Shout out to all the Australian fans out there yeah. and I wish you guys all the luck and I hope to see you in the semis because I believe you can do some damage once you get there. Awesome, thank you. All Thanks, right. uh, shout out to everyone back home. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So we're here with Mr. Max Sonletter. Sonletter. It wasn't that bad. Not that bad? Not that no, bad. No, but it's difficult. The owner of S-Works, uh, how are you doing? You just had one of your top pilots just TQ uh, an interesting, very exciting round in round four. Juan Carlos Canas was able to pip his rival, I would say, his rival now, he's trying to do his rival, the Italian uh, Davide Angaro. How are you uh, feeling about the SRX chances going into the finals? Well, at the moment we are doing quite well. We are already working on the, on the long run. We are working on consistency, of course also on speed, but mm -hmm. mainly it's one, year, uh, one hour final. And we are pretty confident that we go in the final and then we will see what happens. Okay. So SRX is starting to grow. Tim Lime's doing a good job in America. Obviously, you guys have been doing a great job here in Europe, over in Asia and all that area as well. We're starting to see uh, the S-Works push in America. What would you, uh, how do you, when you came and you took over S-Works and started doing this, what was your approach to, to growing your team and making it? I, I like that you also like to do it like a professional side of AA. You have your drivers, you know, driver uniforms, you have, uh, you had, at one point you had shoes, pants, all that stuff. What was your, when you was, when you bought S-Works, was that what you had in mind to kind of model this off a full-scale, uh, full-scale automobile racing team? Well, the idea was I'm doing this hobby since I'm a, a young boy. Mm -hmm. and we took over S-Works and said, okay, we will make it more professional, but still keep the, the funny side of it, keep, fo keep focused on one side, mm -hmm. but also it must be fun, we must be, get friends, we learn people from other co continents and join together and have a nice week at the races, that's the main issue. Yes, and you see that, I mean, the s team is humongous here. There's a lot of s drivers here. Great representation from Spain. Uh, we got Jorn, I see he's in there thrashing as well. We got the Americans here. So it's good to see you have a very international team here, even Kyle from Australia. Yeah. So that's also good to see. What can we expect from s in the future? Well, we will focus more and more also on the 110 side. Mm -hmm. We're already quite strong in Europe. We'll go over to, to US with Beach and RC1. We have two good distributors over there, of course, with Tim Lime, super team manager, is well known and, and doing the job quite well. Some European drivers will go to the next races also in US. But also, of course, also 1.8 is, is, is our main DNA, right, right. but we also need to do something yes, in 1.10. Yes, of course. Well, it's good to have people like you in RC. You've done an excellent job here with S-Works. It's good to see it growing. And uh, I wish you guys all the best this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Juan Carlos Canas, a.k.a. JCC. TQ, fourth run, very fast run. Yeah, it was a good run. Car feel comfortable. But we need to wait for the next one. Because track change, temperature also. Let's see what happens. Uh, what's, been, uh, what's changed for you from the track from the warm-up to now? It's just completely different the surface, mm -hmm. it's like more clean. Mm -hmm. Warma was more dusty with some holes. I prefer this kind of track mm -hmm. compared to Warma, but you never know what is best for you. No? So, so do you want to TQ or would you rather TQ and win and be in the final for sure? I, uh, the first of all, I want to be on the final. Right. Of course, I want the TQ and the win, but Super difficult, too many drivers with high level, so it's 
Yeah, um, you've been super fast lately. You you was one of the guys to beat up beat Ongaro straight up this year in Italy. You beat him at the RCGP. That was a good fight. Uh, you've gotten a lot faster in the last two years. What have you been doing? You, I know you've been practicing a lot and all that type of stuff. The s work scar seems to fit your style as well. Any preparations going into the 60 minutes? Yeah, we change also the car a little bit. They come with uh, new parts mm -hmm. also for here. But for sure, Ongaro in uh, one hour final was super fast, always same last time. So you need to be super focused on the final. And it will be difficult for sure. Well, you got to make the final too, because you have to go to the semis. Yeah. And uh, get there. Very, so very semi-final, 30 minutes. Yeah. And after the final. Because at the... No, one race you went to the LCQ. No. No. Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Yeah. You was in the LCQ, right? Yeah. 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 Oh well, good luck to you, and I hope you take you another round because I want it to be interesting Let's the qualifying. See, okay. Thank you. Bueno suerte. Gracias. Gracias. All right, we all know who this man is, the tallest and nicest gentleman in RC. How you doing, Ryan? Well, we're having fun out here. It's beautiful weather, beautiful days, beautiful track. Not driving the greatest yet, so still trying to figure that part out. All right, you you was fast in practice. Yeah. What what's happened since since then? I don't know. We did uh, like a full rebuild before that first qualifier, and something felt broken that first qualifier. Like I got on the gas, and the rear just stepped out every single corner really bad. So we kind of went back on some of the setups to some of the better practices, and it was better, but still it just hasn't quite felt the same. And went through everything. I was free, just can't find it, and just not really comfortable there at the moment. Right. I, I was talking to Greg. What, I know you was trying some of your combination tires. Did you find any one, any combination that worked great, or have you gone back to just regular four no, no, tires, no, same no, tires on all four points? Back to just all double downs. Okay. Uh, big reason for the combination, in a way, was just lack of enough tires. Mm -hmm. So you know, you had like seven sets of double downs, five sets of catapult, so you could have eleven sets of bolt okay. combined. So. I just was kind of using those up to save the double downs for the end because it kind of been seen like Angaro and some of the guys that are going really fast around the double downs. So I kind of wanted to save those for the mains and whatnot. So when you get back, your next race will be... This, uh, I'm not positive. I have my own little like Let's RC Hometown Shootout. Okay. Uh, first week of October. I'm sure there'll be something else before that. I think we have, we have AMS, AMS yeah. coming up. I think that's in November this year. Though. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. It's good to see you. It's always good to see you. Yeah, you too. And uh, it's good to see you. I was you was doing really well in practice. I want to see you do well. You know, I always want to see you do well. Appreciate it. So I Just hope to see it. you, and uh, I hope to see you in the semis or getting there. And I know it's hard, but uh, good luck to you. And Kyosha's got a nice team here. Absolutely. Got Mick over there busy. Got Mr. Coleman here. Got Yuchi over there. It's good to see. It's yeah. good to see Kyosha on the rise again. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's good. All right, guys. Well, good luck to you, Mick. Thank I see you, you over there busy. The missus is. The missus is, 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 is had a little. She's had a little incident there. I hope that. Yep. <laughs> uh oh, I don't trust this chair. What's up, Mick? You know what? I'm gonna have to take our podcast and send like your part of the audio over to get fixed. It was good, but it's just kind of. People can hear it. Yeah. Well, they could hear it. It was just kind of. But we'll fix it. There's a lot of knowledge in there. We gotta get that right and uh, get it up there. You've been busy. Yeah. How's uh y'all doing? Okay, chicken. I'm lucky. Yeah. We've got a problem when the car goes upside down and cuts out. For oh no. Reason, so we we hopefully sorted that out now. The shark has shared some feed as well. He's yeah. looking good. Yeah. It's looking good early on, so yeah, yeah. we've all been working together. Yeah. So Kanai good. was uh, inducted as now like uh, yeah. honorary Mexican. <laughs> so. <laughs> He was over there having That's a good, good time with Team Mexico, yeah. who won the opening ceremonies, by the way. Yeah. They won oh, it by far. Good. But it's good to see the Kyosho team back, you know, got, yeah. got all the red tents here yeah. and all that stuff. And uh, you guys have won eight of these. Yeah. So I don't think that's ever going to get beaten. And let's see yeah. if we can add some more here. I hope so. All right. Well, thank you for your that's time. I appreciate thought. it. And uh, <laughs> I know you're busy. So uh, I'll let you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice thank you. How, well? up, How are How you? Doing? Nice hat. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm waiting for the white markers so you can sign up me and I yes. can bring it to my uh, to Poland. This is uh this is my boy Powell. He's in the heart. Uh, tell us about your your uh, your Drawings? track design. Yes. Uh, the, the, yeah, there was the, the 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 family of the organizer. They just asked me then I can um, I can I can draw the track and. Uh, 
Yeah, they looks they looks cool. I spent looks 40, badass. Forty five hours I spent. To really? Do that. Yeah, to do that in the in the middle of the night because <laughs> between the work and the other stuff what I do, so uh, that was pretty pretty tough. But uh, I think the effects they they fine. They, yeah, they, if you guys wonder what we're talking, we're talking about the the cool drawing that was done of the track. Mm -hmm. He's also done many tracks. He's also got this training regime that we're gonna go yeah. over as well. That is practicing with one of the fast young. Uh, Bar Zalewski. Zalewski. Bar is the first Zalewski. name Bartos? Bartos. Bartos yes. Zalewski, young Polish guy who's very fast. Yeah, young, he's getting faster. So he's been trying out these training regimes he's picked up from Olympic canoers and all this type of stuff. Oh, yeah. To oh, try yeah. and uh, improve hand eye reflexes. But he's got some really cool drawings of tracks that are like 3D. They look really, really nice. It really badass. Part, and part, part, part of my work. So yes. uh, I, I try to do my best. The same like you, you know, the podcast and stuff like that. It's a part of your work. Yep. That's correct. And yep. you try to do the best. Exactly. It's in the, it's the same, just a difference, you know, uh, uh, different platforms. And, uh, and, and, and that's it. But... Uh, uh, I think it will be cool if we have, I don't know, like a 10 or 15 minutes, maybe later in the tent. In the, yeah, uh, so we can, out of the sun. Yeah, yeah, especially. So I just, <laughs> listen, Lefty, thank you very much. No problem. See you guys later and uh, and watch and listen to an only podcast. See you thank guys. Thank you. Talk See to you later. later. Yeah, well, All right, bye-bye. All right, guys, so that's it. I got a little short walkabout with some of the guys. I went into some of the factory pits. Tomorrow I'm going to get out and do a walkabout around... Get some more questions, you know, everything will be a little bit more relaxed tomorrow with the pro guys. They won't be thrashing as much. So I'm going to go check them tomorrow as well. I got to get up to the booth and uh, do some commentary with Nick. So tomorrow we'll do another walkabout. And also I know some people will complain about the audio on the recap. But to be honest, I've listened to it on my iPhone, I've listened to it on my laptop. I've had various other people do the same. I even signed into another account and the audio was fine. So I don't know if YouTube's doing something with the algorithms or something like that, but it's very crazy. But uh, before I go away, I just want to say thank you to all you guys that support the NNRC. Thank you for everybody for hitting this, that sub, notification, and like button. Keep doing that. Keep sharing it. I need that to grow. And I want to say thank you to the NNRC squad. Also, shout out to the patrons of the podcast. I can't do it without you guys. You can help, help keep their bills paid. And also, I'd like to say thank you to these companies for helping me get her. They are High Tech RC, Beach RC, InvisibleSpeed.net. Don't forget, InvisibleSpeed.net is running a special. You buy one year, you get another year added to that only through the uh, world's coverage. So go to InvisibleSpeed.net, you sign up, you will get an extra year coverage. Also, shout out to TZO200 Tires for their support. And of course, RCGP, which is the next race I'll be going at. So I'm going to go up to the booth, do some commentating, and I'll be doing another pit walk tomorrow. And that said, Nitro is the glory here at the 2022 IFMA World Championships. And Lefty is out.